Hey guys, it's Maddie. I am in my room and today I'm going to be making a um, makeup video and I'm filming on my dad's phone. That's why the content's probably better because um, he has an iPhone 7 and, because, and my phone is dead and it doesn't have any more storage on it. So even if it was alive, it wouldn't have any... I couldn't be able to um, record anyway. And I really wanted to do my makeup uh, because Lorelai's having a friend over today. So I kind of needed to do a test on myself. Also, I want to give out... I wanted to give... I want to give a shout out to my friend Bailey. She's been in one of the videos... One of my, our videos before. Um, she asked me if I can upload another makeup video. So I decided, why not? So... That's what I'm doing. You can go check out her channel. Her channel is called Bailey Walters. And I realized today that we've been having some troubles with YouTube because when we when you pull up the homepage to our channel, not all the videos would pop up. Uh well, no videos would pop up. It would say to like edit it and stuff or this channel has no content. We fixed that. We emailed YouTube and asked them to fix it. So they did. And, well, um, they gave us, like, instructions on how to fix it. And then my dad found out how to fix it. So he fixed it. So, um, I'm gonna be... And I'm not using YouTube Capture because that had to be updated. So I'm actually just recording in the video app. And then I'm going to edit it with an app that's called Splice. If you guys want to make YouTube videos, I suggest using either of those apps, YouTube Capture or Splice. They both work great. So let's get on with the video. Hey guys. So, the things you need are this contour palette and this contour sponge. You're going to want to, you also need this blending brush. You're going to want to take your contour sponge and blow off any excess. Then, put it in t a darker color than your skin tone, but not too dark and put it in these places. Like there, and there, on the edges of your nose, and on your cheekbones. And then you want to take a color that's almost like your skin. For me, this is that one. And then you want to put it in these places. Forehead, cheeks, top of nose, and chin. Also, you want to put it over any pimples that you may have or scars. As for me, I had a scar on my cheek that I had to cover. And I had a pimple right in the middle of my right in the middle of my eyebrows that I had to cover as well. Also, I had a mole on my chin that I had to cover. Also, if you have dark circles under your eyes like I do, you want to cover those up as well. Now you want to take your blending brush and just blend everything. So you're going to blend the two colors together and it should mix to make your skin tone or a little lighter than your skin tone. As for me, it worked out very well. You want to go in up and down motions or circle motions up and down. This blends the two colors together doing the circle motions and up and down just spreads the two colors. Don't forget to get every spot that you covered in um, foundation. By the way, 
where I got my contour sponge was five below and it's pink and it says color rush on the packaging. Also, I got my contour palette from the Dollar General near my house. It was six dollars and it works very well, actually. It works better than I thought. And I actually don't know where I got my blending brush. I got it for Christmas, but I'm pretty sure you can order one on Amazon for, like, probably $5. Now I'm going to take a color... Now I'm going to take the same color I used, and I'm just going to put it on any moles or pimples or scars I may have on my face. Now you want to cover your eyelids so that your whole face looks the same color. You don't want to have... You want to cover your eyelids because um, on the outside of your eyelids, don't get covered that much because you're, you, your hand and, the br and your eyes are too scared to go too close to your eye. So if you close it, it gets the whole face. I'm making a video. Well, at least mine was. Yours may not be scared. Your eyes or your body may not be scared of the brush hitting your eyes, but mine was. Then I'm going to put on um, some more just to cover up any scars. Now I'm going to take this light, shiny color. I'm going to put it on my cheeks and on the top of my nose. This kind of makes my blue eyes pop and it makes my face a little brighter. I also put a little bit on my chin. Now I'm going to blend it with the rest of my contouring. Nice and shiny. Now it's time for the actual makeup. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put it on my neck because I want my neck to look the same color as my face. Um, so just blend a little bit of that color on your neck. You can also blend more than one, more than one color on your neck, but I just did one. I probably look like a ghost right now, but that's okay. Because with adding the makeup later makes me look really pretty. Trust me. I'm just looking for something real quick. Sorry about that. Also, I'm sorry that my hair is a mess at this point. Because I hadn't done my hair all day. At the end of the video, I do take my hair down. But... Yeah. So I'm going to take this colors that I got for my birthday uh, and I'm going to take a light pink and I'm going to put it on my cheeks. This will be my blush. Make sure you do up and down motions and don't do encircling motions because if you do encircling motions, you'll start looking like a clown and it'll start making circles on your cheeks. Now I'm going to add a light brown and I'm going to put it on my cheekbones to make them a little darker than they already were. Now I'm going to blend the two colors together.
I know I'm making a lot of funny faces, but that's what you have to do when you do your makeup to get in all the spots you need. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm going to take my eyebrow brush and I'm going to just brush my eyebrows so that they're in the right position. First I'm going to do the actual comb, then I'm going to do the soft brush. The reason I'm looking away from the camera is because there is a mirror right behind the camera that I'm using to fix my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take a eyebrow, I mean a mascara brush and a little bit dark powder and I'm going to put that on my eyebrows. This darkens my eyebrows because literally without any eyebrow pencils or anything, I have no eyebrows. You want to be careful not to get it anywhere where your eyebrows aren't. Um, that way it doesn't look like you have these giant bushy eyebrows. And there we go. So I'm just going to wipe it off and then brush them now so that everything is blended in. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. The color I'm going to be using is gold and it's going to be part of a palette and I'm going to do light gold on... I'm going to do gold on my lid and bronze um, in my crease. The reason I made that face is because there was a brush with a bunch of sticky stuff on it and I had to wipe it off. Then I got it on my leg, which sucked, but I fixed it, so I guess that's good. So I'm going to take this small brush and that's what I'm going to use on my gold. By the way guys, I know this video is really long, but it has a bunch of great tips. So I'm going to hold down my eyelashes um, so that I can actually get to my eyelid and I'm going to put on my makeup. Now I'm going to do my other lid. Same color. Now I'm going to take this browns and I'm going to put it in my crease. When you when doing this, I keep my eyes open that that way I could I just put it in my crease and I just move it back and forth. Like so. Now I'm going to do my mascara. Sorry, I had to find my mascara. Here it is. 
It is Avon Super Shock, and it didn't really do anything to my eyelashes except make them a little darker, but it does, it does work, and it does take me a little longer to put this on, so you could skip the te next 10 minutes. You could, I mean, not 10 minutes, you could s skip the next, like, 20 seconds of me putting it on. Also, a great tip to make blue eyes pop, or I guess any eyes pop, is to put it on your bottom lashes. It really makes your eyes look bigger and cuter and really pretty. Gotta do both eyes. Be careful while doing this, that way you don't get it on your nose. Because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten it on my nose. Just got to put on that extra. And now I'm looking for my brow brush I used. I'm just going to do that to spread my mascara because it kind of came out in clumps at first, but now it's not clumpy anymore. Now I'm going to take this pink lipstick and I'm going to put it on my lips. I got a little bit under my lips, so while putting this on, please be careful to not get it off of your lips or you'll look like Miranda Sings. Now I have most of my lip gloss on. Remember to rub your lips together. There we go. Now, I don't want to keep this braid in because it looks really messy. So I'm going to take my hair down and do a little hairstyle. A braid can easily be taken out by just brush brushing your hair slowly through the hair. And now you can puff it up and brush through it. How much is how much I've ever however much you want. And I didn't have a brush at hand, so I kind of just brushed it with my hands. Um, also, there were a couple pieces that weren't in place, so I had to fix my part. Now I'm going to take this piece of strand, this strand of hair, and I'm going to twist it, and I'm going to twist it to the side and then pull it back. Now I'm going to clip it with this flower clip. Now the full look is complete, and you can go out to any dance you want. Thanks! Okay guys, so I finished my makeup and I did a little bit of my hair too. So now I'm going to go take some pictures and I'm going to put them in the video. I want you to comment down below which picture uh, you thought was the prettiest. Number one, number two, or number three. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our channel so uh, to your friends so that they can support us too. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like if you did and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!